All right, well, you would, uh, after getting uh, burned on the other uh, measurements on this thing, on the uh, motor mounting thing, you would have thought I would have learned my lesson, but uh, I didn't. So I measured all this stuff, and one of the things I measured was the, the height of these guys, or, or the height of one of those, and that's my problem. And uh, I just want to show you guys, there's, there's a, um, a little difference between them. So, you know, this is, this is pattern maker stuff here, you know, this is a casting or whatever. So, you know, you wouldn't expect these to be exact, but uh, I thought I allowed plenty of extra oomph. Anyway, this one's considerably higher. I discovered it when I, uh, when I went to test fit the plate on here. It was, it was rubbing here, and then I milled a little out of the bottom of that and set it down, and then this one was rubbing. So, anyway, what I did was I, I decided just to, to blow the, the pockets through because it was so thin here that, uh, you know, it just... It, was, it sounded like tissue paper. You could tap on it and it made a funny noise. So I said, screw it, I'm just gonna pop through. And uh, anyway, so that's that. Um, <laughs> you know, the autometric bites me again. So here's this guy here. Let's see, can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that, that little pocket that we made um, for that little lever there, okay? And uh, so we're gonna add some mounting holes and then we'll add, um, this uh, tool post uh, stud um, threaded hole in a couple of places. So once we get it mounted, we'll kind of sort out where we want that. I think I want a couple of places here um, that this thing can be, right? So, you know, I can envision it being there pretty easily, right? And then uh, if we swivel around all the way to this side or past, okay, um, I could see wanting it over on this side too. So, um, you know, it doesn't cost me much to throw some tapped holes in there. What is that, 3 quarter 16, something like that? Yeah. Um, throw a few uh, tapped holes in that. So let's go over to the mill, back to the mill, and then uh, we'll put some counter bores in this thing and uh, uh, get them mounted up. Okay, kind of set up over here, kind of ready to go. Um, there's not, you know, I don't know, there's nothing too magical about, <coughs> about holes and counter bores. Um, this is a standard inch socket head cap screw. And, um, I don't know, the only, people wonder about the depth, uh, to set the head down with these. And just nominally, whatever the nominal screw size is, in this case it's, um, a uh, half inch diameter. Uh, this is half 13. Uh, was that 12, almost 13 millimeters? Um, the the depth of the counter bore is equal to the nominal diameter. So if that's half inch, the depth for this counter bore would be half inch. Now that puts it kind of right at flush, and uh, so I have a kind of a uh, a pet peeve about this is the whole idea of a counter bore is to sink it below flush and the same with the countersink so guys get try to get too tricky and, and make a dead flush the idea is it's it's there there is nothing projecting up so uh, a lot of guys underdo countersinks and counter bores and uh, a lot of when you change screw materials in particular when you go to stainless um, sometimes the heads are a little bit thicker and, uh, and they're proportioned a little bit differently. They're close, but they're uh, a little differently. And then you have something that's sticking up and then you got to go back and, uh, and countersink a little deeper and it's a big hassle. So just make your counter bores and countersinks so that your fastener is below flush, you know, 15,000, something like that. Some, some number where you know you're dead dog sure that it's below, uh, below the surface. Um, anyway, that's one of Tom's pet peeves there uh, um, <laughs> on uh, counter bores there. All right, so 549. All right. All right, so we're going to smack some... Well, that one's pretty close to the corner there. Um, smack some holes in this and some counter bores. And we're just going to use these uh, piloted type here. Um, these pilot on a diameter. Always check these diameters when you start. 
because uh, you never know if they're on size uh, 64th over or 32nd over uh, and then that's the the um, the counterboard diameter and designers out there look in the catalog guys Th these are standard tools right don't pick some oddball thing out of SolidWorks okay look in the tool catalog this makes it really easy okay this is standards and now CNC nobody cares okay because they can make whatever they want but if you have some really deep thing that you can't interpolate you're going to be using a tool like this so you might as well use what's kind of standard practice okay so another another one of my pet peeves is oddball counterboard diameters uh, that uh, guys come up with it's it's crazy it drives machinists nuts okay so uh, I don't know that's enough ranting let's uh, let's drill some holes <laughs> so you'll see right away that this stuff it gets a little steam off of it but it's not uh, it's not this kind of uh, heavy Paul. drill it. I could run that in a collet if I uh, was so inclined, but I need to switch between tools. That's why I chose the, uh, well, that shank's kind of, kind of shiny, but all right. Anyway, rinse and repeat. Got a few more to do. Okay, let's go try it. Well, I don't have any fasteners the right length for these guys, but it looks like my measurements are okay. At least for that part of it. That still pisses me off, but oh well. Okay, so next, uh, I think we're going to use a uh, uh, transfer punch for this one here just to kind of, it's not real important where that is. Uh, I just want a couple of locations uh, for this guy here. So. <laughs> Hopefully not on top of another fastener. So let's see. Let's when we're swung all the way over like that. Let's see. Something like that. That's pretty good. Come forward a little 
little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, somewhere in that region is probably a good one. Let's just do a, a non permanent type thing just to get a visual on that. And then let's get these out of here. Okay, so the next possible position is uh, with this thing at 90 degrees this way. I think we want one over here, like that. And this. So yeah, 90 degrees that way. Yeah, this this actually will probably end up in this position a fair amount because we have actual direct readout um, on this axis. Then, so uh, this is going to be an important one here. It's getting damn close to that thing, isn't it? Okay, so I gotta be there. Be right next to that pecker wood. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. So Okay, that works. All right, then what else? I'm able to start with two. It's easy to add more. Do we want one? All right, I think we'll just start with two. All right, and uh, so we're gonna go pull this off and we'll pop those holes in and then we'll record those coordinates uh, uh, on our drawing so we have those. All right, let's uh, check it out. off the edge so I think that's what we'll do is we'll do an inch off of the edge and then um, same thing back in this area here just to make it kind of uniform right in that region okay and then this one so we do the same thing there I could probably do the same thing there. Okay, I'll check that one. Pull this off and then we'll uh, drill and tap some, some holes in it. Okay. All right, so, the next question is... Will it power tap? I don't know if I can get that in there. No, nope. I don't think this one opens big enough. All right, what size is the shape? Call it size? Of course not. All right, well, we're hand tapping. I thought I was going to be cool and, uh, and uh, power tap that. Which it would. I've done up to seven eighths uh, power tapping on in steel on the bridge port. So, uh, but we got to do it by hand. And Mr. Bozo came to town. Got to fix that. That was uh, going to be another one of these uh, tool post mounting holes. But I psyched myself out. That pocket is actually underneath there, and I blew into the pocket when I was drilling the pilot hole for that. So. There was some uh, some choice words uh, spoken here, so uh, <laughs> I think we're just going to patch that. I'll put a little plug in there and I'll weld it in there, and then we'll we'll sand it off and make it look nice because I don't like the look of it. These pissed me off enough, so that really <laughs> got me going. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to tap these guys. 
Let's use the uh, uh, the Kilroy method here. We're just going to use this little crescent wrench here. Just kidding. That's not how we do that. <laughs> Especially when you have big fat tap wrenches around and you get to show them off on camera. So we're going to stick a little point in there. Actually, let's uh, do a little lube. I'm going to try this anchor lube for tapping and see how how it works. Tapping is one of those, uh, I would say, uh, demanding operations and uh, really tests a, uh, um, a lubricant. Make sure I'm on the right spot here. Off a few thousandths that way. Let's get back on. Okay. So uh, I'm just putting a little downward pressure on this point here and then I'm just going to engage the, the tap. Feels good. Yeah, the anchor lube's working good. I think I'm gonna hit my uh, my handle over here though. So once you know, once you have it nicely started, you can take the point out. But uh, this is going pretty easy here. Oops. I might make it. I think I just went through. Oh, somebody gets lucky. <laughs> so I'm through and I just started touching the uh, <laughs> the handle over there. <laughs> cool. I like, uh, I, I need some luck on this thing, the way it's been going. fix that hole. Well, the life of a bozo, you get good at fixing stuff, right? Up just a little more. I want it slightly above flush. Of course, it's not gonna. There we go. That looks pretty good. I got a little chamfer on both pieces, so uh, and then we'll we'll mill that off um, afterwards after it gets its welding treatment. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down and and very close to it, just touch off here and zero my quill readout. I 
make sure I have a good a good zero there. A little variation there, huh? So then I'm gonna come up about three thousandths or so. So a little bit of oily oil in there. And then while I'm still on the uh, thing, I uh, come down a little bit. down a little more. Oh yeah, it's just catching. Right. That's going to be it. Because it just grazed it there. Yeah, it feels pretty good. And then the last little bit we'll do with some uh, with a file and some paper and blend that in. And Thankfully, I think that's all the holes in this damn thing. <laughs> Mr. Bozo. All right. All right. All right so there's a repair. Teeny little line over there. Try the uh, tool post on here now. Feels like it's sitting down good. Okay. Uh, I might need to shorten this thing up a bit. Yeah, it's like right there. This is the stud that came with it here. It's kind of been kind of funky looking. Wow, it looks like it's almost been stretched there, huh? Maybe it has. Huh. Let's uh, put that in. Oh, you know what? That's not going to go all the way through. That's right. Um, all right. I need to make a new stud here. So it's not too happy here. I certainly need some wrench flats on it or something. So, all right. Well, anyway, that's the. Uh, I gotta deal with that. But that's the general idea there. You know, with these, you only want. You know, one one or two threads showing uh, on these. Otherwise, you you drag your hand across that. Okay, that's pretty happy. Okay, well, I think that's about it for now. I think I'm gonna fiddle around with that stud a little bit and uh, move on to the next thing on this. Um, 
Hmm. Boy, really, I think I want some chamfers on that. Those look like knuckle busters to me. Yeah. Now that one I can't do because it's so, that counterbore is so close to the edge there. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. I, maybe I'll just round these corners just a little bit because those seem like they're going to cause me some pain later on. All right, well, think about it a little bit. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.